30 seconds. Separation confirmed. Starliner is now backing away from station and starting its return to Earth. Starliner thrusters will then complete two short firings to gradually increase the separation speed to help the spacecraft carefully move away from the orbiting lab. The vehicle is now about two meters away from the International Space Station. At the time of undocking, Starliner and the International Space Station were flying approximately 260 statute miles over central China. Starliner will be beginning a breakout burn soon, which will take the spacecraft forward and above station. During this burn sequence, Starliner's thrusters will perform a series of 12 short firings. The entire sequence takes about five minutes to complete and allows Starliner to quickly break out to outside the approach ellipsoid, or AE. And about four minutes into the burn sequence, Starliner will exit the keep out sphere, or the KOS. And you can see those thrusters firing there on the left of your screen as Starliner backs away from Space Station. And we are now just uh, 35 meters away from the International Space Station. We saw a good first burn. Houston ISS, ISS thrusters enabled. Confirmation, all 27 jets have fired. Houston copies, ISS thrusters enabled. And you're seeing the light show there on your screen. And the first three of the 12 firings have completed, and there's about a 100 second pause until the fourth burn. And we heard confirmation that all 12 burns in this series of breakout burn firings have completed and they were all good burns. Starliner has crossed the keep out sphere. So the next milestone for Starliner's departure will be crossing the approach ellipsoid or AE. And we just heard confirmation that Starliner is out of the approach ellipsoid. The approach ellipsoid is a imaginary three-dimensional ellipsoid around the space station and vehicles outside of the approach ellipsoid have to be on what we call a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory, which means the spacecraft would not cross into the approach ellipsoid for at least 24 hours, even if it lost all maneuvering capabilities. 
now that Starliner is outside of the approach ellipsoid, joint operations between the Starliner Mission Control and International Space Station Flight Control Room will conclude and Starliner is now on a path back to Earth.